I don't want to hear men sit around discussing tits or how sexy someone is on on TV. In the same way, I don't want to hear Janet Streetporter say, oh, Tom Hardy's got um, some muffin tops now, hasn't he? I think I found the only L word worse than London. Oh, I'm intrigued. No, I'm oh I'm my joking. god! I'm joking. I'm joking. Bleep that. Uh, loose women. The joke there was that I was clearly saying something that was super offensive. Loose women. Yeah, it's rank. Yeah, Jack wins. Here is I can say. Why do you hate it? I think it's a great example of double standards in the media, especially. Like if, for example, and I'm not I'm not saying, oh, I think like this is a very h- a hard thing to say. Like I think men should be able to say more <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, men do say <laughs> just enough, right? Yeah. Just- I think men have had their go. <laughs> yeah, they have, they have. But I think in order to f- to get it into some of the thicker men's heads, like you can't say stuff like that. We should be limiting some of the ways in which the loose women do things as well. For example, and again, I'm not qualified to talk about this, but like, I don't want to hear men sit around discussing tits or how sexy someone is on on TV. In the same way, I don't want to hear Janet Streetporter say, oh, Tom Hardy's got um, some muffin tops now, hasn't he? And so, like, that's going to give men unrealistic... Like, is that it, an actual quote? No, no, no. They, they sit around going like, oh, look at, the, look at the dad bods on the... They're like a heat magazine on TV. Do you know what I mean? Like, they'll discuss dad bods or they'll say, should... There's, there's a whole array of topics that they feel like they... Sh- they're qualified to talk but about. Th- they're also the same people who would kick off at Piers Morgan if he said anything like that if about Piers a woman. Morgan went on Good Morning Britain and went, "Gosh, sh- sh- her, t- her tits have got bigger," right? <laughs> then <laughs> that is how Piers Morgan talks. Yeah, that would be a weird episode of Good Morning Britain. Yeah, <laughs> or especially ima- since he's not on there. Or, anymore. Im- or imagine if he he like commented on like Holly Willoughby's breasts or something. Yeah. Right? But then you've got these four women sitting on the TV going, "Oh, that's all." Sh- did you see those pictures of Tom Hardy on the beach at the weekend? And then they'll be talking about him. And it's just like, if we can we just stop doing this about any whole audience does it as well, don't they? <laughs> or literally, Beckham might have put on a few pounds, and they'll go, "Oh, Beckham's looking a little bit chubby round the face." Like, I remember seeing a little clip from it once, where I don't know who it was. It might have been like Anthony Joshua or someone walked out and sat between him, and then whoever was next to him was going, "Oh my god, look at his muscles!" I know. Oh, and, oh, he's got tight trousers. Oh, look at those tight trousers. Imagine if he said that. <laughs> that right? Yeah, it's mental. It's yeah. mental. And, and <laughs> oh, also... look at her boobs. <laughs> oh, what are those? <laughs> tight bra. <laughs> <isn't it>? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was just a clip from when Jack had Lauren Alexis in here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's even mean. It's even mean. But I mean, I, I, I guarantee, I guarantee, if 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 we found like a list of like the worst like sex sexualized things they've spoken about, and I hadn't brought them to you, and I tre- changed them for the male equivalent, men to women, right? yeah. And then we sat here and we did an episode just pretending we were discussing those things everyone would go what the fuck it would is be going fucking on here? Rank. what the fuck but because they're like it's like an innocent daytime tv thing they kind of get go under the radar yeah again i'm not qualified enough to, to it, really... should, it shouldn't be either way but yeah it's I've, I've never been a fan of loose women and also i mean the show <laughs> 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 I'm not, I'm not be hasty here. <laughs> and also, away from kind of like more serious points, also the stuff they discuss is fucking dross, isn't it? <laughs> I, d- like, I don't watch it enough to know. Have you got examples? I've got a list of about 15 genuine loose women discussion points. Go on. That I want you to hear. And because of how mental these topics are, I thought a good game we could do today is I could give you maybe like 15 or so genuine topic points from the show and and I've and I've thrown in a made up one as well just to see if you can okay. spot the ca- the catcher in the yeah. rye is that no not <laughs> needle in the haystack <laughs> The the one you made up. The odd one out. <laughs> the odd one out. The catcher. What's the catcher in the rhyme? A book. <laughs> it's literally a book. Okay. It's a classic American literature. <laughs> Reddit think I put this on. No, <laughs> you're just a fucking right. hip shit. So bear in mind, there's there's probably about 17 here and 16 of them are true. Uh, what? Sh- oh, oh, okay. Yeah, go. Should there be school trips to the vagina museum? <laughs> what are you saying? Is that real? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and we'll yes, d- they should. We'll do it at the end. We'll do it at the end. Um, how would a ferret wear a boob tube? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Would you wear your dead pet? You can kind of see where they're coming from on that one. I swear this is genuine, this one. Is it okay to fancy a chameleon? You know the Pokemon? Oh, right. No. Chameleon? Charmeleon. Chameleon. Cha- Oh, a chameleon. I, yeah, think, oh, animal, I, I think it animal. means the animal, not the yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, they do. yeah, shit. The animal, yeah. Oh my God, he does not put this on Reddit. <laughs> Should you call your vagina down by storing ice cubes inside? We're listening to a porn podcast live. <laughs> Ulrika Johnson, I had sex for the first time in five years. Are you a human homing pigeon? Would you sleep with a naked friend? Sorry, would you <laughs> would you sleep naked with a friend? Um, would you <laughs> would you sleep with a naked friend? <laughs> would you let your lover go on a sexual sabbatical? Is your dishwasher ruining your life <laughs> relationship? Would you give birth in your garden? And there's so, so many more. Do you want five more? Yeah. Yeah. Would you try a vagina crystal? <laughs> I'll try so many that I end up in a K-hole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear the laughing at Janet Streetport. Uh, on <laughs> this one has to be real. There's no way he's yeah. making himself laugh this much. <laughs> this <one is> real. <laughs> Janet Streetport are on if the moon <laughs> things were fake. <laughs> She'll fucking know. <laughs> Janet Streetporter. <laughs> <laughs> they they confided in Janet Street Porter. <laughs> NASA came to me. Yeah. Carol Vorderman wants to have sex in space. Should you let your dog kiss you on the lips? And then finally, my favourite one. This one's real. Mr. Blobby on Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded quite good, that. Um, you made up the ferret boob tube one. What do you think? I was thinking that, but I, I now think... Um... The chameleon one. Nope. The one I made up was, should you call your vagina down by storing ice cubes inside? Okay. The ferret boob tube one is genuine, and they have diagrams of how it would wear the boob tube. Right, well, okay then. Could put loose women, ferret boob tube, please, feet. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. (laughs) How would a ferret wear a boob tube? Why would it wear it like number two? Yeah. Wear it like number one? Depends where its nipples are, I guess. Depends where its tits are, yeah. Yeah, like a cow would wear it more like the uh, back back image. That ferret's tits got bigger, isn't it? <laughs> so, so what we're looking at here is a ferret. You can imagine what a ferret's looking looked like. Can you? No, no, I can't. Describe yeah. a ferret to me, Stevie. A ferret looks a little bit like a... Um, what the fuck? How do you describe a ferret? It's like a long mouse. <laughs> what? No, it doesn't! It a long guinea pig. Yeah, it's like a really long guinea pig, but with like the face more of like a cat. Um... <laughs> And a big tail like a cat as well. And then Stevie's getting a hard on. <laughs> how have we got in a situation where Stevie's doing audio description <laughs> porn for ferrets? <laughs> and then uh, the tell first us, image. T- has... Tell us how a ferret would take off a boob tube. Yeah. So the first one has the boob tube around the front where you where you would imagine um a ferret might wear a where boob. a ferret might wear a bit, and the other one has it around the backer end of their long body, in the front b- of the <laughs> in the back the, end, the <laughs> the rear end, the ba- <laughs> the fir- one at the front is just behind the front legs, the one at the back is just in front of the hind legs. <laughs> there we go, the backer end. Of the we ferret. have now discussed ferret boob tubes for probably about as long as they did on their TV show. So are we as bad? Are we loose men? No, but we know we're cunts. Yeah, true. They don't. They Come. might. They pretty well once you've heard this podcast. <laughs> I'm never getting invited on, Bob. Wouldn't go on anyway. Much like the knighthood. I'll turn down a loose yeah. women invite and a knighthood. My wife picked it up. What? Picked up its body and it, with its arms and then threw it over the garden fence. <laughs> to the neighbours. Cheers, neighbours. Um, 